The new Anthem Luna was released a few months ago, very softly. And as we've reviewed pretty much every Anthem in the past, I thought I'd grab one and have a look at it. from Coffee Parts, the Anthem Luna. Now this grinder sits below the Hero products in the Anthem range, being the SP2 and SP2 Plus. It's really been put together by using multiple parts from different brand grinders because Anthem sit under the Henro Group. Henro Group being Didding, Malconic, Hay Cafe, and of course, Anthem. And this grinder in particular is a grind on the man grinder with stepless adjustments using flat 65mm steel burrs. Now, before we dive in and look at what makes this grinder special, if I could ask you guys a favor. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. It really helps us grow the channel and deliver even more content. Now, with that being said, let's dive in and see what makes this grinder special. The stepless worm drive is super easy to use with just one hand, with quite large turns resulting in very small movements, which is really perfect, especially for the less experienced baristas, as it's a lot easier to work with smaller movements when dialing in the grinder. When it comes to ease of use, the screen and the porter filter cradle really are very neatly complemented, with this cradle being one of my favorite grinder cradles, and as part of the Henro group, you actually have seen this in many grinders, and it really does hold that porter filter quite perfectly. Now when it comes to the screen, it's super simple to use, very clean to look at, and the sensitivity is quite nice. You can click through, and it's just accurate where you're touching it, especially when you go into the program modes. Now, I know in the days of iPhone, you expect every screen to be perfect, but it's just not. So it is nice when screens just work the way they're meant to work. Looking at this screen, you got four boxes. Basically three pre-programmed times, single, double, and triple, plus a grind on demand. Now you can use that single, double, and triple as single, double, and triple, or I like to use a single as a purge button, double for double and triple for triple. Now, there's two different modes. You got your basic mode, which things, means things are locked down. You can't change anything. You can just click on those four modes. Or you got the pro mode, which means you can dial in and change the time on each of those boxes, plus get into the program menu. Now, this doesn't sound like much, but Considering this grinder really is focused for low volume cafes and office environments, especially in office environments where there's a lot of people using the grinder, people tend to like to fiddle with things and it can get quite annoying. So being able to lock that screen down and keep things simple really is nice. One last thing with the screen, it's got the ability to add your logo. Now for me personally, it's a function I'll probably never use, but I do know a lot of companies out there that just love seeing their logo on everything. And for that, Anthem has catered to them. Where this grinder really shines for 65 mil flat burrs really is its grind speed. Now official figures have it at four seconds for 18 grams of coffee. But this will always depend on roast profile, grind size, machine setup, the basket in your machine, and of course, personal preference in extraction styles. For us, we we're getting six seconds on 20 grams of coffee using a VST in our Keys Van & Wesson Speedster coffee machine, which we have in our warehouse. When it comes to the ground spout, it looks familiar because it is. Once again, being part of the Henro group, they have access to pick up some of the best parts in the group, and this spout really does work well. It's super simple to adjust, so you can adjust the angle of the spout, so it's always gonna grind coffee into the center of the basket. It's also super easy to remove and clean, all without the need for any tools. While talking about cleaning, this grinds tray really is perfect. It's plastic, doesn't scratch the bench, and easily fits back into the place with the use of magnets. Now I know that sounds simple, but having a tray that easily can be removed, cleaned, and placed back means you're not lazy to do it throughout the day. And I really like things being really neat and clean. Well-designed, functional products really do appeal to me. Talking about cleaning, the hopper. The hopper is a two kilo hopper which is easily removed and sits flat on the bench. Now, not all hoppers sit flat on the bench. What that means is sometimes when you remove them, you've got to hold them because if you let them go, they tip over, make a mess. Now, you'll probably remove the hopper at the end of the day. Say, get rid of the beans in the hopper, put it into an airtight container to store overnight. Talking about airtight, 
The lid isn't airtight, but it does really feel neat when putting it back on the hopper. So it's a really nice feeling. And on the lid, you've got the clip, so you can put your recipe card there, a nice little touch. Lastly, we've talked about features, but a grinder is only as good as the grinds it produces. So what was this grinder like to work with? We had in our warehouse, and we found this grinder to be consistent and super fast. And for a 65 mil grinder, which I was comparing it in my head to 64 and 65 mil grinders, thinking the E65S and the Mazda Jolly V Pro, it really did perform as expected. I was quite pleasantly surprised and really happy with the grinder. Talking competitors, the logical competitor in my mind to the amp from Luna will be the Mazda Jolly V Pro. Now, every grinder is gonna have pros and cons and no grinders is gonna be all pros. In the case of the Luna, some of the pros are the super easy to dial in worm drive. You can do that with one hand, super easy, especially for the less experienced baristas. This grind is super fast and some tiny little things like the grounds tray, just easy to remove and place back. Won't scratch the bench. I'm super OCD, so I like things being clean. I don't like benches scratch, and I love how it just connects back with magnets. Beautifully designed products really do appeal to me and the hopper. When you remove this hopper, it sits flat on the bench without tipping over. There's some of the pros against the Mazda Jolly V Pro. Now that sounded like there was a few pros, but it's part of the name. Now I'd like to know your thoughts. What do you think of this grinder? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next video.